Today we are going to see amazing home. This home was a, a, a um, the owner took down the original home and said, you know what, I want to rebuild my own home. From my understanding, he has a 17 feet island. Whew, I cannot wait to see this island. From my understanding, he has a heating system that he only pays $600 a year to heat in his entire home. Whoo! When I say I'm excited, I'm excited. I usually don't get excited for every listen, but this one, I'm excited. And that was a joke. I get excited for every listen. Let's go see. <laughs> Welcome to the house, Thumpin' Realty. So I'll break this down. This, so last year, um, Boston Gas was on strike. And um, I was scrambling to figure out why I was doing this project, how I was gonna complete it without using oil or about using electric, which mm -hmm. would be you know, really costly. So a friend of mine has told me about a system that he was putting in in, uh, in Milton which he was the first in Massachusetts at the time. I was the first in Boston. Uh, this pellet stove, um, main energy system right here, mm -hmm. um, burns pellets, which just, this hopper holds like five tons of pellets, right? Okay. Vacuums it over to the heating system and it heats up a, a, a 100 gallon tank of hot water too. So my heating system over here is a hydro heating system. Mm -hmm. So you get that humidity heat that's, that's, that's you know, you don't have dryness, um, heats up your hot water and at a cost of about um, about 60 bucks a ton because you get a, you get a rebate from the state for 20 years. Mm. So it's equivalent to, it'll cost me about $1,000 to fill that up. Yep. And then at the end of the year, it's only cost me 600 bucks a year to heat a 2,000 square foot home, heat and hot water. Um, right now, this, this bag has been filled since, not last year, October, the year before last. Okay. So as you can see. 2018? 2018, as you can see, Right here, you know, it's at an incline, but we're at half bag right now. It's only me that's living here right now. Um, when I filled it up, uh, I kept the heat on 60 degrees mm -hmm. while I wasn't here for a whole year. Um, and then while I've been here, it's only been, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's really efficient because I have spray foam close up insulation in the walls. Yeah. So it keeps the heat and hot water like, it's like the best thing ever. I mean, if you got gas, you're spending 200 bucks a month on, cool. on cold days. You yep. know what I mean? This heats, this, this heats your heat and your hot water. So the system was, um, the system alone was about $24,000. Mm -hmm. The state gave me a 45% rebate. So I got, I got like, you know, 45% of it back. You still have to purchase your air handlers, which are thermal air handlers. Mm -hmm. So this is one zone that controls uh, the basement and, and the, the first, first floor. floor. Then mm -hmm. I have another zone, the second floor, that, that controls the second and the third floor. Okay. This is the, the last supper island right here. <laughs> God was around today, this will be where he's having the last supper. I've never seen an island this long, ever. 17 feet, y'all. 17 feet. This kind of like. I can't, I gotta keep something like this away from my wife because she's gonna talk about we need more kids. You know what I'm saying? This island gets you in trouble, fellas. You already know you can uh, grab all your recipes and she'll talk to you. Preheat the oven to 190C slash gas, 5 slash fan 170. See wash the turkey inside and out and dry well with Got the smart refrigerator teaching us how to cook. I'm gonna have a good time with this home, bro. I noticed that your staircase is wide. Dude, I spared no, my architect, I, I spent hands on designing everything. Like, when my architect designed the footprint, mm -hmm. all he did was design the levels, yeah. I put in the windows, I designed the kitchen, I designed the bathrooms, I did everything. All he did was design the structure to make sure I passed. As, as, as I was building it, I did design my build. Gotcha. So I make sure my stairs are wide. Yep. Um, I make sure you know of where one of my island. I mean everything you see here, all your windows, your natural light. Yeah. If you have blinds, literally, like you don't even need the lights on. It's just naturally bright. Question: I gotta ask, why this island 
so long. So well, if, if you tell me the story it, behind. So this island. this is more so like a Philadelphia type style house. Mm -hmm. So now, so when I first thought about it, I said, well maybe I'll connect the island to the wall and I'll bump it up here. But then I says, what are you gonna put in a table? You not you can't really put anything else because it's narrow. Yeah. I said, why don't you just make it? And, and I love the entertainment. If you look at all my houses, um, you'll see. Every single home that I've owned, I've always had to myself from big kitchens and big bathrooms. Mm -hmm. That's it. I have a house on 36 Gaston Street that was listed when I first bought and flipped the house. It was Boston's uh, best house it was on. Yep. Um, so now they're, they're reselling the house for $300,000 more. And again, it's on Boston's best house again on, in the globe. So if you look at all my islands, all my islands are, are, are full slab islands. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't make a full slab island, it's not that wide, but we made a nice long island so that when people were in the kitchen, they want to entertain the kitchen. Um, the reason why I place the TVs here and here so that when you're entertaining and you're eating and you're, 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 you're drinking, whatever, you can be able to have a great, you can still yeah. have a view on wherever you want to do. So this kitchen is, is, is a gourmet kitchen, one. You got plenty of cabinets to store everything. Mm -hmm. You got plenty of closet space. Um, and you can do all your cooking here. You can have your Thanksgiving dinners here on this island. You can even set a little dining table over in the corner. But mm -hmm. I made a kitchen that's always functional. I, I, you know, you don't want to, you always see islands small, yeah. whole bunch of mail on there or, or stuff like that. I want to make my, uh, my island grand so you can sit down and really enjoy it. The induction. I think everyone's kind of moving towards this kind of stove. So, um, so I don't know if you've heard about Brookline and Brighton right now. Mm -hmm. They're getting rid of fossil fuel. No new construction will ever have gas or oil anymore. Okay. That's the new thing in, 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 in Brookline and Brighton. Yes, they, okay. they, they banned it. So they're going to force all the reusable energy. So it's going to either have to be electric mm -hmm. or what I have downstairs is pellets. Oh, so this stove is a commercial grade induction mm -hmm. stove and it's dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, was, I wasn't really a fan. I was like, I like to cook on gas because I'm, I, I am a cook. Yeah. But it gets, it, it's hot, it's neat. Easy yeah. to clean, it's dope. And, and when I wanted to turn on, like right away and warm up, that stove heats up in a couple minutes tops easy. Our clad is the only only pot. You got to spend a little bit of change yep. for it. But our clad pots, the only thing that you put on there. Yep. And then what I love is, soon you take it off, it could, yep, exactly. you can put your hand yep. on it. It's cool. Right away. So it's great for kids. You know, when you Correct. take it off, your kids don't touch Correct. it. The, the confection um, oven slash microwave mm -hmm. is dope too. So yeah. I, I'm not really a person who loves the warm-up stuff in the microwave, mm -hmm. but it warms up just like just like the oven, which is really nice. Yeah. So the sink. Farmer sink. You gotta have Farmer a sink. sink. Yeah, all day long. I feel like the, in new in all new construction, you have to have. Yeah. This. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a double double bowl sink person. Yeah. Old I just I, I just want it nice and big. Throw your shit in there, wash it up. What I love to do is because I cook. I dump my chicken in, my turkeys in there, I wash it, I season that stuff in there. And once I once I once I wash everything up in there, that's why I really love the big farmer sink. And this is hickory flooring, pre-finished hickory flooring. Mm -hmm. um, lifetime warranty on it. I love it. The style is great. The look is great. Um, when I when I started the store, I had to have it. I didn't want to do natural oak. I like the wide plant look. That's the reason why um, I went with this flooring. So I'm looking around, I'm like, oh wow, i never seen that before. Why did he go with that? Mm -hmm. The recess lights. Yours is not Oh yeah, square. Yeah, yeah, square. square, square, square. So I, I like the square. Um, you can show the true guy's crap machine. You know? See how they're lined up? The yeah. circle, yeah. You, you, they don't have to be lined up. Yeah. They know, they'll still go, but in the square, you can tell the guys really focus on that. But it was something new and I like this. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it was really. It was a good touch. Yeah, yeah, and I, I did square all the way through LED lights. Um, the dimmable lights, um, as, as long as it's the um, dot dependent lights too as well. Yep. Um, but I, you know, I like them, it's something different. Okay. Um, right. Also what's different is every single bathroom and bedroom doors have frosted glass doors. Okay. So I like that so that, you know, it shows like a little ambiance. If you have company, you know, you see the lights through the doors without seeing anybody in there or anything like that. So yep. that was just something different I wanted to add to a little bit, a little bit of class to it. Okay. Um, and, I, and I got a lot of these ideas from all the hotels I've been to, the W hotels and stuff like that. Close the door, they had the frosted glass doors, the frosted glass um, partition walls between the, sh between the shower and stuff like that. Two bedrooms and a full bath, Juliet balcony, which is just good for ventilation. You want to come out here, I mean, it's not really anything, but it's, yeah. you know, just for aesthetic looks and stuff like that. You know, you can open up the door and you get some good ventilation in here. Yeah. The good thing about the spray phone installation is that 
if you crack open a window yeah. downstairs and you open this up, the suction is so crazy. Like it'll, it'll, if you're cooking and you want to air out everything, it'll actually suck everything out because everything's just so tight in here. Gotcha. So you can open up a window, open up a door. It's real quick. Decent sized bedroom. Oh, nice. This is a smaller bedroom, mm -hmm. but it could be an office as well. You have a full size bathroom here. Stand shower. I see you you staying with the gray vanities. All day long. Yep. Gray grays grays are in. All the light grays, dark yep. grays, the grays are in. So here you have Okay. Big enough for a California King bed. Balcony style, your closet. I all, not only these closets here, you also have two additional closets, one's for shoes and one's for like larger suits and stuff like that, or for women dresses or whatever. Okay. And then you have your the bathroom is a stand-up shower slash soaking tub. This is comfortable. Very comfortable. The, the siding on the property is hardy plank siding, cement siding. Mm -hmm. Never have to worry about it. Never will paint a peel. Mm -hmm. um, your gutters are leafless gutters. Um, everything is in this house, done to this house like you'll never have to do any maintenance to it at all. Cobblestone front, don't have to worry about. You know, when, you, when your snow removes, you don't have to worry about salt, chipping, anything, anything like that. Um, I did this in mind of me not doing any maintenance to the, to the, to the outside. Yeah. So, so would, would um, I noticed that some people will pull up and say, okay, it's not enough parking. Or they'll... Oh, I have parking in the rear. Okay. So I have parking in the rear for, 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 for three cars. Yep. Um, or if they wanted to landscape it, they can landscape the yard, whatever they want more to do. Parking. But, but, but currently right now, you can pull in the shared driveway and it's yep. parking in the back of the house with three cars. Okay, yeah. great. And then... Now pulling up, the house is so narrow. You almost you, think you, like you it's don't so even, you, small. You don't even know. It's that, that that was one of the things that a lot of people, a lot of people thought about it when they drove up. There's like this house is kind of small until you walk in. You don't know how 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 long it is yeah. and how wide it is. Correct. So so it, you know it's something that you really got to come in and take a look at. Correct. I mean, it, it is deceiving. Everybody says it until they walk in. They're like, oh wow, this house is really nice. It's really oh. big. So it's like you basically when you're looking at the house, you're looking at. A lot of these two families and single families, they have a room and a hallway in a room. Mm -hmm. So here, when you look at the house, yep. the room is by itself. Correct. And it's connected to the other rooms, what makes it long. Yeah. So that's why my hallways are a little bit bigger, my yeah. bedrooms are, are big, mm -hmm. and the entertainment downstairs, are it's a really nice size. So mm -hmm. it's a, so you really got to step in and see it because the curbside, you know, it looks like a small house, but it's really it's a nice size. Got Absolutely. you, got you. Absolutely. And so if you had to, if you had to, you know, sell your home with with three top products or or things that you put in this home. What would be the three sellers? The three sellers would be the closed cell insulation, which okay. keeps the keeps it Heat. cool yeah. and, and heated. Yep. The pellet stove. Oh, uh, amazing. Um, and then and then the LED. Well, actually, boy, <laughs> yeah. the LED lighting because I'm telling you, the carbon footprint. My utility bills are extremely low. Okay. But also. The, the maintenance on the outside, not worrying how, not worrying about how the paint, not worrying about you know, I mean it's just it's a, it's it's the house you can enjoy and have yeah. fun and not have to spend your money on. I'm surprised you didn't go with the island. No, nah, because I'm used to it. All my <laughs> islands, all my islands are big, man. But you know my my islands, I mean, I can I can send you stuff all day long yeah. and. and that's a decent island, but I've... I've that's I've a decent better. island. Okay, I got better, you. You said that's a decent yeah, island. That's not even the island. That's yeah. a... I had, I had one on 2 Rock Ave, and that was on Boston's Boston's Best as well, too. That was two slabs. Same width and everything, all the way down. Wow. I mean, so all my footprints are pretty much the same, so I'm used to it. So it's like, you know, I, I, I get the buzz out of it. You know, once I come in here, and, and I get it done, I get excited. Yeah. But once it's done, it's like, you know... One thing I could honestly say, I'm, I'm excited for... Uh, this home to sell this home and and I'll tell you why because this home is could go for sell 650 sell. 700 and you decide to say okay I love Mattapan Mattapan's get coming up let me let me um, put the price range around at 600 you know I I, I really I want to say thank you to uh, from the community to you uh, but you know we really appreciate that because again you could just throw it up to 700 800 and say you know what let me see where i'm oh, going to get you know 
especially that island downstairs. Yeah, I don't yeah. care how many you made, that's not normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told the you, I told system, you, yeah, it's not normal. Not no, twenty four thousand dollars just on and just that, the that's, not, system, that's yeah. not even the air handlers. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, so so does this just the little things that you thought of and said, you know what? If I'm building a home, I'm gonna build a home that I move my mama in. This is it. That all means a lot. Yeah, all day long. That means a lot. Yeah, so long, yeah. you know, uh, I thank you, and yeah, I think that's about it. So we can't wait to put this on the market. This is gonna be a phenomenal listing. I can't wait for the open house, and I can't wait for the lucky buyer. And if you know a thumbprint closing, then you know a thumbprint closing is gonna be a celebration because we're gonna celebrate that buyer that's gonna share new memories in this home and that island. <laughs> <laughs>